NATO moving into Asia, but it's the, about the fact that China is coming close to those. Of course, NATO has to address what happens uh, in Asia, uh, uh, not because we are a, a global uh, security alliance, uh, but because what happens there matters for us, and vice versa. As the North Atlantic Treaty Organization continues to expand its reach into the Far East, Brussels seems a bit overly concerned about some apparently aggressive Chinese behavior in the South China Sea. It's a bit strange because NATO has troops stationed in Taiwan, which is, let's not forget, a part of China itself. Makes you wonder who's the real threat here, especially when Beijing's the one calling to refrain from military activities and an end to the finger pointing from NATO's American overlords. We urge the US to stop misleading international public opinion with false narratives, to strictly control and restrain frontline military activities and refrain from any provocative actions. More recently, a Chinese delegation to Washington again called on the U.S. to stop provoking Beijing around Taiwan. The whole situation bears a stark resemblance to the way Russia's military operation in Ukraine went down. According to the West, Russia was the aggressor from the beginning, no matter how many NATO countries were propped up on its border over the years. President Putin uh, went to war against Ukraine uh, with a declared aim to get less NATO. He's getting the exact opposite. He's getting more NATO presence in the eastern part of the alliance, and he's getting two new members uh, with uh, Finland and Sweden. No mention of NATO's broken promise not to expand past its 1991 borders or its steady military buildup over the years. The past time, the NATO military bloc has increased its overall activity dramatically of late. Considerable forces and resources from the United States have been redeployed to our borders including aircraft. The number of NATO troops in Eastern and Central Europe has increased. Let me remind you of what we all know. In 1991, they promised Gorbachev. No, no, not an inch to the east. Well, here we are. This is the kind of partners they are. They shamelessly lie through their teeth. At the same time, the bloc is no longer hiding its aggressive nature behind defensive rhetoric. I was told years ago it was not a military bloc but a political organization. And last time I checked, Article 5 was still in place. At the same time, as I said, the aggressive nature of the bloc is not being hidden. U.S. policy doctrines explicitly spell out its claims to global supremacy.